My name is Jess Voss, and this is my brother Matt Voss, and we are opening up a wine pub in a few months. And yeah, and when I tell people that it's called a wine pub and that I'm selling wine on tap, they go, oh, you mean wine from a box? And I say, well, you know, it's a similar concept. It's so that you get the wine to your mouth and put it in the glass so you can chug it straight from the tap. Um, but this one's a little bit different, and the process starts in a barrel, so it's aged just like mine is. And then um, instead of going to the bottle, it goes straight to the keg, just like here. So in skipping the bottling process, you save on, the winemakers save on bottling and labeling, and they save on the corkage fees. So that all passes on to the savings that we get in buying the wine from them, and therefore passes the savings on to the customer. So, um, in having wine by the tap, um, by the keg, it's very beneficial in that you get to um, drink. You get to drink the wine at the perfect temperature that's supposed to be served. The kegs are all regulated by temperature in coolers. Um, you also get to the wine once it's tapped. It lasts a lot longer than in the bottle. Once you open the bottle, it can go bad within a day. Um, by the keg, it lasts once tapped about a month. And then it still actually is pretty good. It just starts to go a little bit flat. So it's a lot longer lasting. Um, Matt and I have grown up drinking wine, and of course, ever since we were 21. And wine uh, <laughs> with anything and everything. Um, you know, we would drink it with hot dogs and mac and cheese and meatloaf, you know, kid foods and of course, of age foods. And um, we just always, you know, that's what we did. And my friends would come over and I would ask them, you know, how do you like coming over my house? Is it fun? Of course, we want to be accepted. And they go, yeah, it's a lot of fun, but we get a little intimidated because you guys drink wine. And they always associated it with, um, you know, having a lot of money and kind of having, like, you know, drinking wine on special occasions and kind of these stereotypes around drinking wine. And I always just thought it was just like, you know, drinking a soda or drinking a beer. It was just, you know, something we did. So as I was thinking about it, these are not true by any means, but um, in growing up, we grew up Catholic and um, we, you know, always ate the body of Christ, which was the bread, and drank the blood of Christ, which is the red wine. So I thought, well, maybe people associated drinking wine with, you know, some higher power, and that's why they didn't want to drink it. Or, um, then, in thinking about it a little bit more, I always saw kings sitting on their throne and having their glass of wine, you know, maybe I thought people associated with royalty and having a lot of power, and that's why they were a little intimidated by drinking wine. Um, I also thought, wine is pretty expensive, and why is it so expensive, you know? You can brew beer in your basement and just have your barley and hops and yeast and you're all set. But in making wine, you have to have a lot of land and a lot of grape trees and you have to have space to ferment that and space to hold all the barrels and you know, people have their big houses and they showcase wine. And I moved here uh, just recently, been here about six months and uh, started going to Napa and was always really scared of dying. I was like, oh my god, what do I wear? And I think I expect that I know what I'm talking about because I'm opening up a wine club, you know, I should know all the terms and I just really wanted to make sure I got my free glass of wine. So, <laughs> so yeah, so just, you know, Jamber, the name of the place is called Jamber, and we're opening up on Folsom Street in between 4th and 5th. We hope to be open at the beginning of July. And um, in opening up, we just want to take kind of the stereotypes away from drinking wine, make it a laid back place. Um, you know, we have a great patio, come and drink wine in the food box, hang out, you know, talk to us. We're very approachable. And Matt over here is the uh, pretty silent type, but he knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's uh, my partner in crime. And um, yeah, so I have the, the top 10 reasons um, why we're a wine pub and not a wine bar. And uh, I just learned today that you're not supposed to read your slides, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> a dance break or something. <laughs> 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 Ten beers on tap, 
21 Sun Tab American Comfort Food laid back atmosphere. Woo! Nice.